Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 25. I'm Deborah Worsu. This image of a fossil embedded in rock has again been worked on a layered collage background. This background is quite thick in some areas and has required some heavy stitching to try to achieve a stone-like appearance. The fabric surface at this stage is quite pale in colour and the initial outline is worked in a toning thread so it's a little difficult to see. However, I chose to do this in order to lay out the outline sketch, which will later be stitched over many times. Once the outline was stitched, the addition of more detail in darker threads commenced. And being a fossil of a fish, I wanted the impression of bones and fins to be visible. During this first build-up of the design, I'm using free motion straight stitch, working over some of the lines a number of times. Now begins the task of filling in the remaining areas and knocking back the appearance of some of those straight lines just worked. This is done mainly using free motion zigzag stitch with quite a bit of sideways movement to create many random lines. A random zigzag technique like this can be quite effective when you see it complete. In order to give more depth to the design, many more colours and layers of stitch continue to be added. Finally work on the area around the fish commences. I've tried to convey the look of the fossil being revealed in the split rock surface. You can clearly see here the random nature of the zigzag stitch, creating the scratchy look I was after. And once again, the picture has been finished off with an irregular shaped edge. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahworsu.com for more tips, tutorials, and videos.